This person literally read my mind because I'm making a wand inspired by Eddie from Stranger Things and the first thing I did was go to my friend smoking glue guns and get some dice because I don't have any D&D dice. I got some clear plastic vinyl sheeting for the door to the compartment, which I accidentally bought way too much of, but whatever. I drew kind of a little coffin shape because I thought that would be cool. Um, that took a couple attempts because I forgot what coffins look like. I cut that out, put that aside, and then I decided I could use like the paper cutout as a guide for building up my compartment of hot glue so it would fit the door when I eventually got there. And as I was building it up and putting more and more hot glue, I would pause every once in a while to see if my dice would fit in the compartment. Next, I had to figure out how to have a light in there. I didn't want the LED light just jangling around with the dice, so I had to find a way to secure it while still having it be removable. So I made something kind of similar to like a kangaroo pouch, which took multiple attempts to try to figure out how to do that. But finally, it was like snug enough that it wouldn't jangle around, but it was loose enough so that you can easily take it out and replace the battery if you need to. Then I finished making the door using my magnets technique that I go into in detail in my other videos. I was really worried that the coffin shape wouldn't translate, but I think it did end up translating. And then another thing that I wanted to incorporate in Eddie's wand were guitar strings because of his epic guitar solo. I bunched all the guitar strings that I had together and then attached them to the wand and then wrapped them around. This was the hardest part of making this entire wand and I didn't film most of it because it was too hard to film it and do it, but I did finally get something that worked and ended up looking really cool. Guitar strings are unruly. I added silver mica powder all over it because I feel like silver and black is a very like heavy metal aesthetic. And it ended up making the um, the guitar strings look like they're supposed to be there, like it looks cohesive. I decided to go with a white LED light. Um, I've got all the dice in there, it's got the door on it, it's got the guitar strings. You can, I like like shaking it and then throwing dice out of it, I think that's really fun. Um, let me know what you think and let me know if I should do any other characters from Stranger Things.